Hello everybody, fresh from my bacon butty, I'm now here to do commentary on yesterday's, or last night's, yesterday evening's racing from vrroom.org. Um, I'm Dave Higgins, welcome to my YouTube channel if you've not watched it before. Um, join us at vrroom.org to find out what it's all about. You're about to watch a really good GT300 race, um, we're at the quarter way point of the season, going up to the halfway point of the season. Um, we have, uh, this is this is Autumn Ring, um, which is one of the fictional circuits on the uh, game, but it's a cracking circuit, quite twisty, quite technical, uh, but also some high speed sections as well to really um, draw in that slipstream effect, particularly down the start finish straight, because you've got a long drag under that Michelin bridge that you can see behind you. Now, qualification for this process, we've got Scalebreaker, the current championship leader, in uh, pole position, followed by Jordan, <coughs> so the two Lexus cars running up front. Then uh, VRDM um, in third, followed by VR Stuntman in fourth. Um, so the first of the roster racing cars in third. Uh, Ginobi doing a very, very tidy job in fifth. Badger uh, in the other team Rosso racing car in sixth. Again, doing a tidy job. Good to see an improvement from Badger. Um, I know he was disappointed from um, last uh, the last three races on his performance so he's really he really got that back together uh, although I think the this car works a little bit better around around these circuits I know there's a lot more downforce on, uh, on it than on some of the other, other cars Lock in 7th, Set Wave uh, doing a good job in 8th uh, N10, surprising N10 so far back here to be fair um, I wonder if something went off in qualifying VR raced again, surprising, quite a long way back uh, in 10th, Rick GT5 and then number 12, Rhesus following up at the back I will say it as I see it, one of my little catchphrases apparently, I found that out uh, last night from the boys in the in the paddock. So uh, here we go, we're on board with Scalebreaker. Oh, listen to those engines. So the lights will change and we will be go, go, go for round four of the GT300 League here at vrroom.org. So leading down into the first corner, oh what a fantastic sight, but leading down into the first corner is Scalebreaker followed by... DM has nicked into second place, but no, Jordan is just about to nick it back, I think, to be fair. Let's uh, look on the back of Breaker's car as we go around, follow those cars around into the first few bends now. Scale has already pulled out a stonking lead there uh, on uh, Jordan, his compatriot Jordan. Uh, and you can see the gap as we go around um, the uh, midsection hairpin. Um, in fact, I think we'll clip on Jordan's car because uh, Jordan's uh, where the action is. He's got DM uh, close behind, followed by Stuntman, followed by Badger. But Jordan is now off in pursuit of scale, so a bit of a poor start for uh, Jordan there in the uh, second of the Lexus cars. Uh, so following up behind because the two Lexuses are pulling out, we've got DM in third, very closely and hotly pursued by Stuntman. As we're about to see, uh, followed by Badger, followed by Ginobi. So let's just have a look on the back of DM's car. So there's a stuntman. Already won a, uh, already won a race uh, this season. Has several podiums as well. Doing a very, very good job. Uh, really, this class of car really suits uh, Mr. Stuntman. Uh, it's very impressive stuff he manages to do with that uh, Toyota Celica. So that's lap one of uh, 13 done here. Uh, Badger looking quite handy, if we go onto the back of Stuntman's car we can see Badger there fighting with Ginobi. Uh, and if we go on the back of uh, Lockie's car we can see a close battle with N10. Uh, set wave and raced, oh very sideways moment for N10, very very sideways moment for N10 there. <coughs> I must say I like the look of Lockie's car, that, um, those MR2s are, uh, look pretty quick uh, to be honest with you, I think this is a car I may be wrong guys, but I think the MR2 is a car that you have to win. I don't think it's a car that you could just purchase. Um, but if I ever get my hands on one, uh, I think I might have a go in it. It'd be mid-engine rear-wheel drive, of course, which is um, the ideal racing setup. Um, to be fast, because obviously with a mid-engine car you have quite a low centre of gravity and a central point and and uh, makes generally the car a little bit more stable for uh, racing. For example, Formula 1 cars are mid-engine rear-wheel drive. Uh, so it's very tight at the back, very tight at the back as we follow all the cars round. We're coming on to uh, lap two now, we're on board with, um, well, we're not on board sorry, but we're looking at DM uh, in third position, pulled out a little bit of a gap from Stuntman, uh, and DM very keen to get score some, some heavy points uh, here for these uh, three rounds. Um, he did a very poor job in the last race, he got an eighth and then two ninths. It was disappointing because he, uh, he was running quite high up. 
Um, but it's, uh, I think DM really wants to go for this one and uh, and try to catch Scale and Jordan if he can. And actually, he's eking out a little bit of a gap. And Badger, in the meantime, Badger is a planting one. And he's got the wiper going like mad. I wonder if he realises it on. Uh, but Badger's doing a very good job in fifth. He's got Ginobi tied to behind and giving him a hell of a lot of pressure here. We may see Ginobi um, plant one. Oh, now we've missed something. We've missed a spin. We've missed a spin. Jordan down in 12th. What happened there? We'll have to rewind for this one. We'll have to have an instant replay for this now. There's no... Um, let's just have a look. There's no... Um, Yellow flag's been called, so it was a solo incident. Now Jordan running in second, it's got DM right behind him. Let's just uh, have an attempt at trying to see what happened here. Really poor camera shot this, I apologise. Uh, Mr. PlayStation planted him right down at the bottom. Right, so that's better. Let's uh, see what happened. So you can see Jordan there. Um, it must have been a mistake. He must have had a mistake. Um, because I can't see Jordan just losing it for no reason. He must have maybe gone off the top. Oh, and there it is! It's, it's a touch on the grass and round he goes. And round he goes and through. You can see at the side, DM, Badger, Ginobi, they're all flying through there. Oh, that's horrendous news for uh, Jordan. He's not going to be happy with that at all. But he will uh, back the car back up and he will get on with it and get racing again. So, um, hard luck, Jordan. Now, crucially, that's put... Oh, Stuntman and DM! That's put uh, DM into the clutches of Stuntman um, because uh, DM had to brake a little bit to avoid that accident. Um, so Stuntman has taken full advantage of that and Stuntman is now ahead of uh, DM. Let's just go on DM's roof cam for a moment behind, uh, behind Stuntman. Let's just see what's happening a little bit further down. So we're on board with um, we're on board with race uh, 42 now uh, in the Aminia car. Um, some really bad camera shots at uh, Autumn Ring. It's a difficult one to uh, get right this because uh, all the cars appear really really low down on the replays. Uh, good news for you guys. Maybe I can stretch this out to more than 20 minutes. I have a new SD card, uh, 16 gig, so hopefully it will um, take up the uh, take up the space um, and soak up soak up the atmosphere. So the running order at the moment then is uh, Scale, followed by um, DM. Now Scale is out by itself. It's worth just checking the live timings, just to see who's fastest at the moment in time. So there's the live timings. And we can see that Scale, my god, is a 115.959. That's way faster than anybody else. The next fastest, as you can see, is actually Jordan on a 116.3 then followed by Stuntman on a 116. So only those top three players managing to break into the 117s. Uh, the next closest is DM on a 117.04 and then Badger on a 117.2. So Team Rosso Racing do have some pace around here um, this evening, which is quite uh, good to see, quite encouraging for the rest of the season. Now, uh, Scale is out by itself. He's probably got, uh, if we click back, two, three, four. He's got about a six second lead over these guys here. So here we have the action. We've got DM followed by Stuntman, followed by Ginobi, followed by Badger. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, DM has managed to get Stuntman back, which is quite interesting. Quite good, that. Oh, and we've got an off. Uh, we have got um, an off there from... Um, that's raced at 42. I want to see what's happened here. He's off um, at the moment. I want to see what's happened. In fact, there was another off there, M10. People are dropping like flies. Uh, M10 has had a crash as well. I just want to see what's happened with Mr. 42. So we've got a uh, set wave in front and uh, raced uh, close behind. They're battling for 7th and 8th. Now what ever happened has put uh, Mr. CD down um, in, uh, or, or race 42 should I say, down in last place. Now um, set wave has run wide, set wave run wide on the midsection and raced is past him. He's got past him. Oh but set wave is going for the cutback oh, and race does not realise, race does not realise that and it's damaged race's car. Ah now. Uh, that's disappointing for race. Now, can you keep the thing going? It's surely not that badly damaged. It's got it's got front offside damage. Um, and oh, he's having a look at that helmet. Yes, 
there's the uh, there's the mark of someone who's not happy at all. I can see uh, he clearly thought he had uh, the right for that corner. Let's just see it on board again um, from um, Setwave's point of view, I think. Um, in fact, no, let's have a look on the back of VR's car. Let's just see what happens. So we're on the back of VR's car. We know Setwave runs wide. Um, but then he's managed to get a lot of traction and get his car back down the inside. So let's just have a look. So in a moment we'll see Setwave run, run, run wide on the right, uh, which puts uh, Mr. 42 straight through. And there it is. Setwave's managed to keep a bit of momentum and he's planted it down the inside now. How far along the inside did he get? That's what I want to know because if he was behind then he's uh, obviously hit race. Um, but if he's alongside then race turn in on him. So. Um, Let's just have one more replay of that, and I think we'll watch it. Um, we'll watch it from the behind view on uh, Race 42's car. Just look, listening to these engines for a while. A bit of a rub there uh, on the back of Setwave. I don't think that was what caused Setwave to go wide anyway. If I'm honest with you. Oh, a bit of a wiggle on there as he goes through here. So let's just watch the incident. Now, does Setwave actually get passed again, or does Setwave plant one down the inside and, and smack him off? So there's the pass. Now, where's Setwave? Look at the right of the screen. And Setwave is through. He's done a massive outbreak, and I think that's caught Mr. 42 uh, by surprise there. So very unfortunate for uh, Race. It's caught him by surprise, um, and it's caused him to uh, pull out of the race. A uh, bit of a shame that, to be honest with you, because uh, there's a lot of laps left. We're only on lap um, 6 of 13 at the moment. So Mr. Breaker doing a fantastic job out in front. Stuntman in the meantime has got DM. So we'll be able to see DM tight up behind, I would have thought, <coughs> with Ginobi still battling. Uh, how's Badger doing at the back? Badger is being chased down hard by Lockie. <laughs> hey! Let's just have a little look at this one. Let's see if Lockie can uh, close. Badger's still got his uh, wiper going like mad on the car there, you can see. Uh, Lockie is closing in. Badger's got a wiggle on at the back. That's not going to help him. And there's Mr. CD. Uh, sorry, yeah, that's, that's raced, packed up at the side. So he's really not a happy bunny. I think he'll be walking back to the pits, and that's a long walk at, uh, at Autumn Ring. Uh, so Lockie is closing in. Lockie doing a good job. But also Badger's doing a solid job. I think that's quite good to, uh, to see. Now let's just see how close Lockie can be. There's the lead three, uh, well not the lead three, the second, third and fourth place man. So let's just go on the back of this car here. Now it looks like actually that uh, Badger's got a faster run than Lockie um, out of these uh, corners. And uh, you know I must say I've, I've, I've raced against Lockie several times and he's very, very, very quick. Very quick. Very defensive as well. Very, very good solid player. Um, he's one of those guys that you could just put your money on to come quite high up. You know what I mean? He's that kind of, he's that kind of driver. Um, a bit like the, um, the sort of Rubens Barrichello kind of driver, where he's just guaranteed to bring the car home and guaranteed to, to score some good heavy points. And you know, if you're a team manager, I suppose Lockie's one of the guys that you'll want in your team. He's not managing to close, though. To be fair. We'll just go on board with Jordan, who is under pressure now. Uh, he's in the midsection. He's under a little bit of pressure from Setwave, I believe. Uh, the camera angle's really not doing us any justice. Oh, it is here. So there he is. And Setwave also is in the um, Setwave is in the Lexus, exactly the same car. Now, Resus is doing a good job there. Uh, let's give Resus a bit of air time because he's uh, in the Toyota Celica. And of course, the rules here at VR Room for these GT300 leagues is you can choose. Whatever car you want uh, per uh, race, um, so you don't have to stay in the same one. Um, I know um, that, but that Team Rosso Racing have elected to do that. I don't think they're going to be changing, but I can't speak for anyone else. I think Scale and Jordan have got to run the Lexuses um, because um, they don't want to, you know they don't want too much of an advantage because uh, Scale and Jordan are, are very very fast players indeed, and the Lexus gives them a little bit of. Um, What's the word? A little bit of um, sort of a, a not not biased, a ballast. It gives them a little bit of a ballast, a bit like in touring cars, where you'll run a little bit more ballast just to slow you down a little bit uh, to keep the races a little bit more competitive, um, which is a good idea to be fair. Um, I mean, scales still out there leading the championship and winning the races, so it's not making that much difference to be fair. Um, 
but it, it, you know, it, I suppose if it was in the faster cars, then it would be just way out there in the front. Uh, but in, in any case, uh, doing a tiny job now. Um, is Mr. Race still parked? Oh no, he's moved to the pits. He's got it going, he's in the pits. The pit crew doing no work. Um, they've clearly decided to retire that car. Um, so we're on board with VR Stuntman now. Where's DM? DM has dropped back a load. Now DM, oh, DM and Ginobili. The two old adversaries going for it again. This should be uh, an interesting little ding dong now. Ginobi is uh, very, very handy at the moment in these GT300s and it looks like he's going to plant one, he's getting sucked into the slipstream. Oh, I apologise for that, wrong button. We'll go to the outside and you can see, oh, he's going around the outside, oh, he's trying to DM going defensive, holding the line for the corner. Let's see that on the back. Uh, Ginobi is out wide, going for the cut back here, this will give him the faster line um, through this section, although you've got to hold back, you can't overtake through this section. Well, you can, but you'd be suicide, you'd be straight into the barrier. And Ginobi looking very good, very good indeed. Now he's raced against DM a hell of a lot and he knows uh, where DM's strengths and weaknesses are. Now these two battling actually, is going to let Badger and Lockie in the background catch up. In fact you can just see Badger peeking his little sneaky nose around there and Lockie's right on him as well. So um, if we go to Badger you'll see Lockie is right on him so it's exactly the same. It's a two by two with Ginobi Badger, sorry with, the, uh, with DM Ginobi and then Badger and Lockie. Fighting for fourth, uh, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth places. Um, cars looking very impressive here. Um, to be fair today, they look very, very good, very, very smart. A little bit of a wiggle on there. Let's just see how VR and uh, VRDM and um, VRDM and Ginobi are going on now. Will Ginobi be close enough to get a slipstream effect down this main straight? No, but DM is trying to pull away and catch Stuntman again. Um, DM's in a bit of a sandwich at the moment. It's kind of, does he push and try and catch um, Stuntman, or does he um, back off a bit and try and drive that little bit defensive? If Ginobi gets close, I suppose he'll have to go defensive, but then again, that's not going to help either of them catch up to Stuntman, because there's a good, solid second place uh, on here. Um, it's quite obvious at the moment in time that Scale's going to win the race, unless, of course... Um, he bins it like Jordan did, which is possible, because uh, he's got about a 10 second lead, I think, or a 12 second lead, so if he bins it, these guys will be on him in a very short space of time. Um, and of course, if he damages his car, then uh, we could see Stuntman DM or Ginobi winning this race, which would be um, a sight indeed. Let's just go on board with Stuntman, uh, and let's just see from the back of his car. And there's the gap, ladies and gentlemen. We've got about a second to DM, and about a second to Ginobi, and about a second to Badger, and about a second to Lockie. So they're actually quite spread out, to be fair, at this moment. So underneath the Michelin Bridge now for lap 11 of 13. <coughs> so let's just see if those uh, times have come down any. Let's just have a look. So, the fastest lap is still that 59.59, so it hasn't really changed. A lot of the players got down into the 116s now, though. So, by me just looking at that, the second fastest player out there is Jordan. Yeah, Jordan, who's not moving up, to actually. He's still in seventh. He must be having um, a hell of a battle, a hell of a ding-dong. Um, but then again, everyone's in the 16s, so there's only sort of two or three tenths in it for about seven or eight of the players. And two or you know two two tenths around here. That's not going to be enough to get you past, um, unfortunately. Uh, so we're on board now. The race really is with these three guys here. So it's uh, stuntman for second, DM trying to get second, and Ginobi trying to get on the podium. And Badger still doing a good job holding on in fifth place. So the race order is one scale, two stuntman, three DM, uh, four Ginobi, five Badger, six Locky, seven still staying in seventh Jordan. I think he might have made one place there. Set wave eight. So that collision with uh, race has clearly affected him. He must have damage actually on his car from that. Let me just have a look. And he has. He's got rear, um, rear near side damage, but he's elected to stay out. And you see, this is what can be achieved. Um, I think it's a bit unwise of. Uh, Mr. Uh, Race 42 to have pulled out to be honest with you because just a little bit of damage like that you can keep going and 
it's never over till the fat lady sings. You just don't know what's going to happen in racing. You know, there could be a yellow called, for example, which would bunch everybody back up again. Oh, and it's been planted down the inside whilst I'm monologuing. Uh, Rhesus, superb overtake from Rhesus in the Lexus, and he's got the inside line now, crucially for this corner. So, uh, while I was talking, we missed a fantastic uh, overtake. Uh, and that's put Setwave down and Rhesus up to 8th, so he's having a real good uh, stonking battle, is um, Mr. Rhesus. Uh, will he be able to uh, maintain that uh, through the midsection and then up the long, long uh, drag up to the uh, up to the, the sort of start-finish train? It looks like he is. Oh, oh no, he's a bit of a loss. Bit of a loss. He lost the back then and then he spun out, nearly spun out, and I think Setwave made him straight again. But oh, they are side by side now as they come down to the heavy braking point. For the loop that goes to the uphill section and no we've got set wave just backing off a little bit a little bit out of control i think and always oh, trying to go up the inside this is tight this is very very tight and that's going to give set wave the inside line and um i don't think although god that salika picks up and my goodness me they've gone around there two abreast how the heck that didn't end, end up in an accident is beyond me that was that was unbelievable stuff absolutely unbelievable stuff well played to both of those guys very very brave Bordering on foolish, but very, very brave. Oh, and we're going to see Setwave plant one here down the inside, and Rhesus has not gone defensive, but actually, there's more speed in that Salika than there is in that Lexus, without a shadow of a doubt. Because Setwave had the run out of the corner then, uh, but yet, um, oh, hang on, do we have a yellow? Yellow is. No, yes, is that a yellow? Yellows have been called, have they? No, oh, no, yellows haven't been called. Sorry, I was monologuing. I apologise. The race is over. I got far too carried away and I didn't realise we were on 13 of 13. So, we have a fantastic win for Scalebreaker. Uh, second is VR Stuntman. Third is DM. So, a podium for DM. Fourth is Ginobi. Um, who obviously didn't manage to get DM there. And uh, fifth is Lockie. Sixth is Jordan. Seventh Badger. Eighth Rhesus. Ninth Setwave. 10th Rig GT5, 8th is N10, sorry, 11th is N10, and 12th is Race 42. So, my apologies um, for completely cocking that up. I did think I had one, in, one spare, but I was getting far too carried away. So, Scale again takes round four of the GT300s. Um, so, I'm sorry I missed him going over the start finish line, but there, I'll give you as much airtime as I can. Um, hang on. There we go, Mr. Breaker winning the race. So uh, I've been Dave Higgins, thanks very much for watching. Uh, I'll be back as soon as I can for rounds um, five and six, which are going to be run from Cape Ring South. So that should be very exciting. So Scalebreaker is in the lead of the championship.